How are you this evening? Well, I just got done mowing the grass, and it's hot. Damn hot. Real hot. Very, very hot. It's like probably hot as, oh, I don't know, Syria in April, maybe? Perhaps. Let's see how things are heating up there. Do tell. In April of 531 AD, the Persian king Cabed the first sent an army under Azrathes to invade Syria. Um, but they did not go through the normal, heavily fortified frontier cities of Russian Mesopotamia, but through a less conventional, less defended route. As they neared Kalanikum, Belisarius set out to follow them with a force from Dara. His force was about half the size of the Persian army, but as he traveled along, he gathered more forces from various villages and towns along the way. His force was more of a hodgepodge force compared to the Sassanid organized army. The battle would occur on Easter Sunday. So that's, that's how they celebrated Easter that year. At first, there was some talk back and forth between the two armies of observing the holiday and, and postponing the fight. But Belisarius' men were eager to get to grips, and he was afraid of mutiny, so he gave in. And they started to fight. So the two armies meet outside of Calachium. Belisarius anchors his left flank on the Euphrates. You can see it there on the map. And basically, they start off exchanging bow fire. And they do this for quite some time. There are casualties on both sides. The Persian archers are a little bit more numerous than the Byzantine archers. But the Byzantines have heavier bows, so they're doing much more damage with each shot. Later, after about two-thirds of the day had expired, Azrathes found a weak spot in the Byzantine force and redeployed some of his cavalry to his left wing. This was a similar tactic that, that he used at Dara. He drove his force through that wedge and began to rout the Byzantine forces there. And actually, that's where we're going to leave off, because this is a two-part battle. We always leave them wanting more, right? Yes. So we'll pick up next week, and we'll see if the Byzantines can stave off this Sassanid assault on their flank. So why don't you tell us how the War Council will shape tonight's battle? Certainly. Uh, we have strategic or, I guess, tactical terrain tonight that is uh, is important for this particular flank of the battlefield. So our War Council tonight, I will start with the Sassanids, of course. In the first game, I have Azrathes. I will get five command cards and five com uh, inspired action tokens, which, that's a bountiful harvest right there. And I'll get to move first. Peter will have the Byzantines under Belisarius, also five command cards, but only three inspired action tokens. He's getting tired, I guess. Uh, we have six banners for our victory threshold tonight. And as mentioned, we have this series of six hills right here, all clustered together. These six right here will be worth one victory point at the start of a player's turn if they are the sole occupant of any of those hills. It's only worth one, so it's just going to be a flex banner that's going to probably go back and forth quite a bit. I think because the Sassanids are moving first, it's incentivizing, perhaps, throwing a unit up onto one of those hills just to deprive a, an early victory banner to the Byzantines. Otherwise, everything else is as marked. All the units that have bows will be listed. And as Peter mentioned, we have a historical geographic feature with the Euphrates River over here, and that is a big river and thus impassable. Nobody's going in the river, nobody's shooting out of the river, so it's just there for decoration. That's what we got tonight. Don't know what to expect. And of course, I have not looked ahead, so I don't know what the phase two. But let's see what happens tonight, shall we? Let's. Let's. All right. I'm going to grab my five cards. And I have them. All right. I have my five cards, so let me wish you good luck. And good luck to you, of course. So how many ambush cards did you draw? Both of them? I drew both of them, yes. Because that means okay. you've got one, and you know I'm fibbing. I believe I will start with... Let's do leadership any section. 
Let's do this. Let's just go for Baroque. We'll do these three. And I will spend an action token and declare a mounted charge. Oh dear. So we're going to go one, two to there, three to there. Go one, two, and three. And one, two, and three to there. And we'll start with some super heavy bow cavalry action here on your light cavalry there. I'm on a hill, of course, but I'm going to get the bonus for the mounted charge, and that is uh, two extra dice. <laughs> Leave? Yes. So I'll evade that. So we're gonna get four dice. Green circles are the key. You get one. But a fantastic evasion. Okay. Uh, this one will also be attacking straight uphill with four dice. What would you like to do? So here we go, four dice, green circles only. That's a good evade. And that mounted charge ends. So I will draw back up. Depriving you of your victory banner. Yes. I will also play a mounted charge. Well, I'm glad I'm sitting down. Ordering these three to charge. There we go. There is our charge. And I will spend a battlefield token on the battle bonus. I'll do a first strike. I presume you were starting with that, the wall, the only one that you could. So, yes. Okay. So uh, hold off on that uh, battle bonus because you don't, you know, you can make that determination after I do the strike. So I'm gonna get just four dice plus leader. And two. All right. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. So that was a super heavy unit. So that's going to get two additional dice plus the battle bonus for our three additional dice for a grand total of seven dice. Why do you hurt me, Michael? Oh. Two leader hits out of all that. Two leader hits. One, two. Why don't you take a leader Here's check? Here's a leader check. Double flags. Mm. Now, I, you did roll a banner on that one. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll stay. That's fine. Okay. Add the first strike card. And an ambush card. Hmm. Mm. Do outflanked. Do those. Come up on the hill. Or come off the hill. All right. We'll have them attack your super heavies. It'll be four dice plus leader. Yeah, we'll just do that. Four dice plus leader. I'll do it. Striking them dead. All right. So they would only get to advance and attack again. I think we will stand pat there. And then these will attack.
attack down the hill, what would they like to do? I'll stand for that. I will spend a battlefield bonus token for that. We'll do three dice down the hill, plus leader. Scoring two. There's a leader check. He's fine. Two dice up the hill. Leader hit. There's leader check. He's fine. I'll play leaders. I'll activate my three leaders. Belisarius will join that mounted cavalry. Scan shall move in to attack that super heavy bow cavalry, and the light bow cavalry will charge uphill and attack Azrathes. We'll start there. This will be three dice going uphill. Leader hit. The little engine that could. Leader's okay. Four dice. Actually, I'm sorry, five dice. Two hits. Two hits for your brave crew. And leader check. He's fine. And I'll get four right back. Scoring one hit. Here's a leader check on him. He's also fine. All right. And I get an action token for my trouble. Mm -hmm. I'll do forward. Well, we'll do... There we go. Start with that one. Three dice plus leader. Two. Three dice back. We will stand. Do this one next, just three dice. No, force them away. One. There we go. But we've got a range of three, so we'll take a shot at him. One die. Hey! And then the super heavy will go after your super heavy. Um, I will spend a battlefield token to make it five dice plus leader. Now yeah, that'll do it. As can. He's okay. We'll advance and we'll go after the auxilia with four dice plus leader. Two hits and a retreat if you wish. Nope. I will return fire with two dice. Try to outflank you. Take a bow shot from the hill. Nothing. Brave Auxilia will 
sell their lives and attack your heavy cavalry. Two dice. Uh, with that leader present, I think I'm going to evade this one. Okay. Well evaded. And Belisarius will attack that medium bow cavalry. Three dice. Two hits. Three dice back. Two hits back. Here's a leader check. Belisarius is fine. Two, three in the center. These three. Mm -hmm. Go one, two, and three. Two. One, and two. And might as well move them all the way. Let's see if we can finish them. Um, okay. We'll start here. Do four dice plus leader. Get a kill. Uh, they'll advance. Battle again. I'll spend a token this time. And it'll be five dice plus leader. Three. Leader check. He's fine. Two back at you. Ooh, leader hit. He's fine. Okay. And then do this one against your mediums. Uh, that'll be three dice plus leader. And we'll advance. Move one. Battle again. And three once again, we'll lead her. And leader check. He lives. All right. Uh, they're going to advance into that space. Two in the center. Let's see if I can't finish them off with three dice. You know what? Maybe I'll spend a token. Spend that token. Here. Where's four dice? Yeah. So I get to ignore one, and you take it with the square. One, two, and three. Okay. I will not advance. Okay. Because you got an ambush card. <laughs> yep, yeah, I better I better try. Alright, three in the center. Um it's gonna be one, two, and Kabadis himself. Three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Okay. Attack Belisarius with three dice plus leader bonus. Go! And the token. Mm hmm. Two hits and a flash. Uh, one, two, and three. All right. Well, we'll just uh, we'll do some twanging then. 
Shoot a bow from there. One die. Get a hit. Two dice. Leader check. He's fine. Mediums are rolling three dice now, right? Yep. Yeah. And uh, I think we'll evade that. Okay. Well, I'm down to my one usable card. So we will scout. Kabaddies. Face off against Belisarius. Uh, we'll spend a battlefield token. We get four dice plus leader. Wow. Oof. He had something to prove. Yes. So. Man. Uh, well, the hill didn't factor into it as much. I mean, we did. I, I, I certainly... It, uh, it it kept me focused on... You know, you had Askan down here, and I was not going to give up that one little spot. I, I'm curious, if uh, for those of you who have played this particular scenario, please let us know down in the comments, I, I, did the hill factor much in your plays of this, or in any plays of it? Uh, I mean, is it good to prevent that from happening or is it only a worry if it's like the last potential banner that they grab by pushing everybody else off the mountain so but uh first first game six two so uh we'll take our break we'll come right back sir we have returned game two is upon us swap sides now you have the sassanid might so why don't you draw let's your... let's see if I can uh, enjoy your luck with assassinants. I hope so. All right, I have my cards. Okay, grab mine. I have mine as well. So good luck, and off you go. Two on the right. That's as far as I'll go. I'll do a forward card. Go one, two, one, two, two three, one, two, and three. And the one, two, and the Come up on the hill. Mediums have marched, so they can't do anything. Bows have no shot. So that's it. Leadership any section. That section. Take a few pot shots at Askin there. Oh. Nope. He's fine. I'm gonna do a foot onslaught. And it's just gonna be these three. Uh, the two mediums will not move. The heavy will go one, two. The ordered units battle in one additional die. Okay. So we'll start here. What would that medium like to do? Oh, babe. Okay. So we're going to just get four dice, triangles only. Two triangles. And then this one against there. Same deal. Okay. Four dice. Great evade. Whew. OK. 
Okay, that is all. Leadership, any section? Close three. And we will mount a charge. Hey, everybody. I've got a pause in the action here for a second because I want to announce a surprise contest. If you're one of our loyal viewers, you're watching this right now, you watch it all the way to the end, and I'm going to put a secret contest in here for those of you who are paying attention. I've got a confession. I've got way too many games. I've got a lot, a lot of stuff that just needs to vacate itself from the shelf. So what I'm going to do is give one of my games away to a lucky winner. All you have to do in order to participate in this contest is put down in the comments section hashtag Peter loves charging. That's all you got to do. That will get you into the drawing for one of my games. I'm going to tell you which game it is because I don't know which one I'm going to give away. But I'll take care of all the shipping and all that. I'll do a random drawing on July the 15th. That's about two weeks from now. That's July 15th, 2023. If you're seeing this after July 15th, 2023... Well, that contest is now closed, but we'll have other contests, I'm sure. So remember, hashtag Peter loves charging. That will get you into the contest. I now return you to your regularly scheduled mayhem. Okay. Four dice against those mediums. Two hits. Two hits. There's three back with leader. Two hits. Four dice on those mediums. Two hits. Three back. Three hits. All right. In a way, you have chosen the target this new battle station. Clash of Shields. There to there. What would they like to do? Oh, they cannot evade. They can't, they can't evade. So here's four dice. And this one can... Four dice, triangles only. That is all. Where are my heavy troops? Those four. Let loose a volley on at your bowman. Wrong color. Still the wrong color. It's going to be painful. Trying to ride down those medium with four dice. Hmm. A lot of pain. But Belisarius has sprung a trap. Uh, so you're going to get to ignore one sword on this one. So it's five dice with leader. Uh, so three hits. Leader check. He's fine. All right, four dice against Belisarius, then. Dope. Two hits. Um, two outflanked. Let loose a volley of arrows. Your 
Eh, might as well do super. And Azerathes. Azerathes. So here's two dice. Nothing. And from the auxilia, two dice. One hit. Leader check. There we go. Um, oh, I forgot to do the moving. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna forego movement since I forgot. That's fair. Uh, we'll just do three dice plus leader. Okay. Got a point to prove? <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, one die. He's fine. And we'll just advance to there. Medium troops now. Belisarius first with three dice. Uh, yeah, I I have a feeling you're gonna kill him anyway, so I better do this. Just see if I can get a couple points. Uh, three dice plus leader. Two. Uh, leader check. That's why I started in the middle. Yep. Okay. Carry on. Three dice against those mediums. Okay. Ouch. Uh, I will order my heavy troops. So they'll go there. Shoot a bow shot at your medium. One die. It's a hit. Um. Hmm. Yeah, better go with the sure. So they'll target them. You're going to evade. So it's going to be four dice. Need a triangle. Here, just one die, nothing. Eater. Oh. <laughs> Every game, man. I don't think I've seen one of those since like game two. Over here with four dice. Ouch. Three hits. One, two, three, and a retreat. Here with four dice. Uh, that's one. You got one more than that. Five dice, right? Oh, yeah. So oh, there's three hits. Three hits. Okay. And nothing. Um, so, one, two, three. Uh, Wanna take the banner. But that lets you follow up, so... you got another ambush card, so what's the worry? Okay. And then over here. There. Yeah. That one will definitely evade. This will be three dice with the bonus. Mm -hmm. Two hits. I'll do two on the left. Heck 
here first. The, we'll spend a token. Mm, no, I won't spend a token. Uh, just three dice plus leader. Um, okay, so yeah, they will advance, come back, and battle again against some bodies. Three dice plus leader. And one hit. Leader check. Oh! So, hit and retreat. It. Two and three. All right, and then the big boy here. Four dice, looking for a triangle. Got a triangle. Charge. Okay, going up the auxilia first, going uphill with three dice. Get a kill. Okay, they want to advance. Five dice against that auxilia. Three hits. Taking it by the numbers. Two dice back. Okay. Ooh. Man. The dice gods are being puppet masters tonight on both of us. Mm. Five dice against that light bow. Nowhere to go. Ooh. Stand firm. Uh, two back with leader. One hit. And light bow cowboy with two hits. And two back. Nothing. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to do leadership any section and it's going to be ass can here oops the ass can the astronaut candidate uh and i'm going to do a mounted charge and we're going to go 1 2 and 3 to there So, they can evade, the other one can't. Mm. Uh, yes, very good call. I should have picked that one. I didn't. Um, all right, so five dice, six dice, looking for a triangle. Got a triangle. And then go there. And Can't do anything about that. Yep. And this one's just back to normal, I believe. So, four dice. There we go. Well done. Thank you. I just had terrible cards this night. Yeah, that last one, I had uh, I had two line commands. I'm like, I don't want to use a line command. I don't want to make my horses go one step, right? We have ended the first battle, well, the first phase of Kalanikum, and our scores tonight, uh, game one, 6-2, uh, I take, and second one, 6-4, so that's 12-6 uh, on the night. The hill, I think, is, uh, I don't know, there's something about it I like, but at the same time, it's 
You know, just when you think you have it, it's like, oh, and because I even saw you had taken the block away. It's like, oh, that's right. Yeah, you you put a unit up on the hill. So you have to commit to it, I think, and uh, defend it completely if, if you want to keep that block. So, um, yeah, this one, I, I was, I had some pretty good cards tonight, and the dice were obviously very kind to me. Uh, I never had a spot where I didn't feel that I couldn't do something, so... This one was telling me, take Belisarius and come over here and use the foot units. So I did. But what do you think? What uh, what, what are your thoughts tonight? Bah. Bah. Fah. Yes, I understand. I understand completely. Um, well, then we will uh, just move on and I will pick up the slack for phase two of Kalanikum next week. But... As the always, thrilling conclusion. The thrills and chills and spills to end out that one. Usually it takes family dinners at Easter to cause this kind of strife and mayhem, but we'll see if we can guarantee that for next time. Thank you all for watching once again. Uh, as we go along on our little Commands and Colors journey here, we're glad to have you aboard, so take a moment and leave a comment down there and tell us uh, what we did wrong or what you enjoyed or something that we could improve upon for the future. Uh, just having that interaction with you is fantastic, so we appreciate it. And uh, I'm also showing you our current supporters. Thank you very much to everybody who kicks in a shekel. That's awesome. We're just going to continue on. We'll ride these horses in, into the next phase of this. So, Peter, have a great week, sir. You too. Thanks for playing.